I've worked in a large hospital for the last 15 years as a clinic assistant, and I enjoyed my work, but I also felt like I had the ability to do more than what I was doing. So I decided that when my youngest child was finished with high school, I would go back to school myself. And about the time that this happened, my hospital sponsored an x-ray school, which made it very easy for me to go into because they gave me a leave of absence for two years. During my x-ray training, I became involved with ultrasound as one of my rotations, and I fell in love with it and decided I wanted to go on an extra year of school and uh, complete ultrasound training, which I did, and I was very lucky to be accepted into the school because there is only one x-ray, one ultrasound school between Los Angeles and Washington State. Um, I love doing my work. I'm absolutely in love with ultrasound. Um, I kind of sort of liken it to a video game where you know how people get hooked and obsessed on videos? Well, I do the same thing with my ultrasound. I can be doing an exam for an hour and not realizing the time is going by. Um, you take that little transducer, you put it on that body, and you see inside the body, and it's just fascinating. I feel that I'm very lucky to have found something that um, I love doing as much as I do. This is an Accuson ultrasound machine. It is one of the most widely used machines, the newest up-to-date features. It has the ability for cine or videotaping. Um, the, one of the main companies is in Mountain View, very close to home. The machine costs approximately the same as a house, about $250,000 to $300,000. These are transducers. They transmit and receive the ultrasound pulses that go into the body. They cost between five and ten thousand dollars. Some of the features on the machine are your typing keyboard, your selection of your different computer packages, changing the grayscale, your Doppler features. Doppler is picking up the frequency transmitted from ascending frequency to a moving structure such as red blood cells and applying it to a spectral waveform. One of the nice things now about the um, newer machines is that if somebody has an emergency in the middle of the night, the on-call ultrasound tech can be called into the hospital do the exam and it can go right over to a doctor's house without them having to come to the hospital or the clinic to look at the results in much the same way that a video of the exam can go long distances to other clinics for doctors to look at the results instead of having to wait for hard copy film to go it can be transmitted in this fashion. We're looking at a kidney right here. This is basically the kidney. It looks like a kidney bean. Um, I see a kidney stone. That bright echo there is a kidney stone and that's where the ultrasound is hitting a hard interface and bouncing back so that it produces a bright echo on the machine. Um, ultrasound, pulse ultrasound is based on what we call echo imaging, and that is the high-frequency ultrasound enters the body, and as it goes into the body, it then waits to have the returning echo tell it exactly how long it took to hit that interface and come back to the monitor. And depending upon how long it took, the computer computes the distance and puts the depth on the monitor here, so you can get an idea of how deep it is into the body. Also, how strong the interface is produces the brightness, the white or the dark on the machine. Um, a very strong interface, such as bone, or in this case, this kidney stone, would send all of the echoes back, and you would get a very white spot on the machine. Your weaker or less resistant structures, such as the cortex of this kidney, 
would allow most of the ultrasound to go through, sending very few echoes back, giving us a darker picture. I'm basically editing the parts of the exam that I want to show to the doctor. So I'm doing a moving picture, which I can freeze with this button here. It stills the picture. I can reach over here and type what I want the doctor to see, like this is the right lobe of the thyroid. Right lobe, thyroid. And I'm here in a trans cross-sectional trans view of the thyroid, so I would put trans, T-R-A-N, for transverse. Then I would hit this button here, and it would take a hard copy film for the doctor to see later. I'm looking at the uh, carotid artery and the internal jugular vein in cross-sectional anatomy. If we want to get a closer look, a nice feature of this machine is called the res button. You press your button, you can move it around where you want to, you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to focus on the internal jugular vein. And now I press the button again, and it's much larger. It gets you a closer look at what you want to look at. I'm going to put some color Doppler on it to see what the color flow is, and it shows it nice and red, which means that the blood flow is coming towards the transducer which is exactly what's happening with the veins coming from the brain entering the superior vena cave and going into the heart. We're on a cross-sectional view of the internal jugular vein right in this area. I'm going to turn on it into a long view and we're going to do some Doppler on it. I have to be very careful, very light-handed, so I don't compress the vein. It's very easy to do. I'm going to bring my cursor to the area of interest, angle my gate, and put my Doppler on it. Cut. My patient fell asleep, so we were getting some rather weird waveforms there. We're going to try it again. Expiration, inspiration, expiration, inspiration. One of my favorite exams to perform is on the fetus, and um, one of my most enjoyable moments is when I'm the one who puts the transducer down and finds that there's two in there instead of one. And the parents are usually shocked and overjoyed, and I cry along with them. I'm such a softy. Um, a lot of parents nowadays come in with video cameras to record the whole exam, and some of our newer machines actually have the ability to record video straight off of the machine. Uh, pretty soon, you're going to find it very commonplace to have uh, an exam of your uh, fetus on video as commonplace as your wedding. Thank <music> you.